chirping. Bring it on, Dan. We have to go backwards, so. No, we do. So we'll bring it backwards. Okay. Hello, everyone. Dan here from Chirpy T. I was lucky enough to have with me today Donnie Bakken, who I was the lead guitarist in the legendary band Last Crack in the 90s. They still get together once in a while. Um, but this is not where we intended to go. This is actually where I go hunting. We were actually intending to go on the Wisconsin River. Unfortunately, what I found on the Wisconsin River was a huge amount of icebergs that were very thick and I couldn't unfortunately tell how thick they actually were. Long story short, with the current and all the icebergs that were on there and the uncertainty of the thickness of the ice, I chose not to go there. We just cruised around here for a little while quickly. Looks like it's going to be a nice picture. It should be. It looks detailed. So do you see that rub right there? Oh! That's, that's a big deal. Oh this yeah. Is, these are all apple trees. Oh yeah, Dan, that's a big one. That's a big old buck. Done this year, right? Yep. There, here, quick one. Oh, jeez. It hit me in the face. All right. No, that's right? all right, Dan. Don't worry about it. It's all good, man. Tree. Yeah, there's tree right there. It's just wide. So okay. in the squatchy world, you will see seven, eight feet up where it's like this, Dan. <laughs> they're they're broke. The most mysterious thing you'll see trees that are just snapped. They look like a V. Even this is insane. Yeah, that looks like we'll go like this, Dan. Well, that was supposed to be a good shot, but unfortunately the shrimp conquers things so well that it doesn't look like there's really any action going on at all. That ditch is probably down, I'd say, five feet in the very deepest spot, maybe over. Over five and a half feet. Here we go, cruising through the woods again, having a little bit of fun. Found another spot to play. Don was kind enough to get out and tape for me. Thank you much, Don. Not really that cold out. It was probably just about 30 degrees. I am in first gear right now. As I become more and more comfortable in driving the Sherp, I've discovered that I could try to shift, be in second gear, first gear, and I could bounce around and I can do a little jumping and so forth, but honestly, that's not what it's really designed for. It's designed for going slow and just climbing up the unthinkable, over the unthinkable, through the unthinkable, that type of thing. This little hill here is a lot steeper than it looks, and I guess you can get a feel for it as that tire comes off the ground. Um, even this hill that I'd love to go up here, apparently they used to drive four-wheelers up that a long time ago. Uh, I don't know if it's steeper than what it was before, but I'll tell you what, it scared the shit out of me driving straight up that hill right now, pardon my language, with a four-wheeler because I'd be afraid it would be coming back up on me. Here again, I probably have about, oh, I'd say 80 millimeters of mercury in the tires, a little bit over at, uh, one PSI. So as I'm driving, you can see the pressure of the tires, kind of one tire gets flat and the other one seems to actually get uh, a little bit firmer. That's exactly the way it works. Each individual tire 
has an opening that goes through the rim that goes into a tube and that tube is connected to all three other tires so that is the suspension also of the Sherp. So if I hit something with the front tire hard, that air pressure transfers to uh, the other side front tire and then back to the rear tires and you are off and running. Love how that baby turns around. Snow is wonderful in terms of maneuverability with the Sherp. You're not digging as much and even this little bit of snow makes it turn a lot easier. Again, special thank you to Donnie for going out there and taping this for me. A little chilly, not quite as chilly as the following day you're going to find out. That second rocket over with a week or so ago. Probably all tired out, you know yeah, that? Yeah, pretty much. They become a lot more nocturnal this time of the year. Especially when there's snow, you can see good outside at night. Yeah. Well, we're coming to the end of this day. Kind of Donnie her, left and I stayed I'm overnight. I do have some footage from the following day I, that's I like coming up in the next better. video. As the always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Oh. Happy New Year. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.